Hey everyone, so one of the questions that comes back pretty often in my videos is why in my speedruns sometimes I do two power shots and sometimes I do one. Uh, and how do I decide if I should do one or two in that situation? There are a few elements you need to consider when you try to decide if you need to do one or two power shots. So I'm gonna try to go over those in this video. So the one thing you should know is that when you dash dance, doing one power shot is always gonna be more DPS than doing two power shots. So if we take a look at those clips, I use a mod that tells you the DPS of your last combo. It's a very neat mod, I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you wanna see it for yourself. But basically, um, in one video I do one power shot and in the other one I do two power shots for a duration of 12 seconds. 12 seconds is because a regular stun is, is 12 seconds and most topples are about the same duration as well. And you can see that at the end of the 12 seconds, the power shot combo does slightly more damage and usually you're able to fit one more cycle. So I, I didn't in this video to be fair to the other combo, but most of the time you can fit one more combo which will increase your damage even more. So if doing one power shot does more damage, why would you ever do the second one? Well, the way I see it, there's four reasons why you would do the second power shots and I'm gonna go over those. So the first one is obvious, it's gonna be the stamina usage. Then you have your stun application, you have the timing of the power shot, and you have the positioning of the monster. So we'll start with the most obvious one, the stamina management. And for this, we're back in the training room. So on the right side, you have the double power shot combo, and on the left side, you have the single power shot combo. And as you can see, the single power shot combo consumes a lot more stamina. And that's with absolute power shot, by the way. And the reason is simple, it is because the second power shot animation takes time and the time that it takes to shoot it, you regen stamina. So overall, the stamina regeneration is a lot more comfortable with the second power shot. However, if stamina is the only factor to consider, uh, I always say that good stamina management doesn't mean that you always have a full stamina bar. It is that you use as much stamina as possible without running out. So what I would do personally is if you have your full stamina bar, I would use uh, the most DPS you can get. And then um, when you start running out, you can use a second power shot to regain some of that stamina. So it's just something to keep in mind. And remember that with regular power shots, your stamina should be a lot more comfortable. So you'll be able to spam that uh, single power shot combo a lot more. So let's take a look at the stun application next, which is the second factor that I like to consider on if I want to do a single or a double power shot. So as you know, if you use absolute power shots, your power shots will inflict KO and exhaust damage. So that means that for the combo that use two power shots, you will uh, inflict the KO damage twice in the combo instead of once if you just use it once. So um, you will inflict more KO with the double power shot, obviously, than with the single power shot. However, spamming the double power shot to get the KO fast is not always the best idea. Sometimes you want to delay your KO a little bit, for example, if you have a monster that just went down, if you get a KO right away, you're gonna cancel the down um, too early and you're not gonna benefit from it. Uh, so that's especially true on the Apex that tend to fall down quite a lot. So if you know your KO is coming, it's actually better to do the single power shot combo to delay the KO to the end of the down rather than get it at the beginning and just waste uh, your topple. And similarly, if you're trying to get a kill right away because you need it now, uh, you can spam the double power shot combo to get it earlier. So it's really a matter of, you know, what you need, but just be mindful that double or single power shot, if you're trying to get a KO at the right time, you can play with that. So the third element that helps me decide if I want to do two power shot or one power shot is the opening that the monster is giving me. Basically, in Rise, uh, unlike in World, the power shot and the regular shot do the same damage. So what you want to look for in an opening is how many shots you're able to put in. Can you put in two shots, three shots, four shots, five shots? And depending on that, you're going to decide if you want to do a combo with two power shots or one power shot. Let me explain. Let's take two situations. The first one is a monster that gives you an opening for three shots. And the second one is a monster that gives you an opening for four shots. If you look at the clip, you can see that the second power shot combo uh, gets the third shot faster than the one power shot. And that's normal, it's because uh, firing your second power shot is faster than dashing. But if you're trying to fire four shots, then the single power shot combo is faster, as you can see on the screen. 
So if we take a real game situation with Magnamalo, you can see that on the engage wall, I have time to fit four shots if I do a single power shot, but if I do a double power shot, uh, by the time I, f I fire the fourth shot, he's already doing something else. But if we look at something like Rajank, for example, uh, with the double power shot, I have time to fit three shots consistently. But if I do a single power shot, the third shot is gonna be very hard to land consistently. So it's the kind of thing where you kind of have to learn for each attack which is best, but the answer is not always the same. It's not always you have to do one power shot or always it's best to do two power shots. It depends on the attack and the opening that you have. This is probably the biggest element that helps me decide if I want to do one or two power shots, so I will be very um, careful of that. The last element that helps me decide is the monster positioning. So it's a bit hard to explain, but I'll, I'll do my best. Sometimes, the way monsters move make it hard to aim at their weak point, especially if they have an awkward um, weak point like uh, Valstrax or um, Apex Rathalos or stuff like that. It is sometimes easier to adapt your combo depending on their movements to match their movements with your power shots. Let me explain. So let's take a look at the Apex Azures. You can see that on the engage wall, it's easier to do a single power shot and dash dance again just because he moves his arms in a weird way when you're about to shoot your third power shot. So you can dash while he moves, so when he stops moving, you're ready to fire your next two shots. But when he's getting enraged, it is the opposite, where it's easier to land a second power shot, and then when he starts moving his arms, then you can dash and be ready for the next two shots when he stops moving them. There are a lot of situations where a monster tends to move their head a lot, which makes it hard to aim. So adapting your first or second power shot to adjust for that can help a lot. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. It's not as cut and dry as do one power shot here and do two power shot there. But hopefully the uh, element that I gave you will help you, you know, have a better decision making uh, when it comes to doing one or two power shots. I hope it helps. See you guys next time.